Now a number like this on an oximeter could get anyone worried. But don't worry, it's not what you think it is. I'm at Hanley which is 15,000 feet above mean sea level. The oxygen or air is very rare here. This Lamborghini Urus is probably even more rare. And what we are about to do tomorrow is definitely going to take my breath away. Hanley is a small town tucked away in eastern Ladakh and it's not easy to get to, even in an Urus. Now the 255 km drive takes a good 5 hours, but in this stark mountainous terrain upwards of 12,000 feet, that's not really slow. On the way, we couldn't help but stop at the fabulous Thikse Monastery, which is a little outside lay. The bright yellow Urus parked in front of the monastery's pure white gompas gleaming in the sun against that deep blue sky was too good a photo op to be missed. That's a real Kodak moment, or should we say, an Insta moment. There are things to see in Hanle too, like the majestic 17th century Hanle Monastery, which towers above the small town. Hanle is also home to the highest observatory in India. And when you look up at the night sky, you know why. You actually feel closer to the stars. And soon, we are going to be even closer. Hanle is base camp for our mission. It's the starting point for our drive to Umlingla, the new highest motorable road in the world that officially opened just a few months ago. And the people who built Umlingla, not surprisingly, are the same people who built Kaldungla, which was previously the highest road in the world. Meet the Border Roads Organization, better known as BRO, the road building and infrastructure experts for the armed forces. BRO have outdone themselves by over a thousand feet. The summit of Umlingla is 19,300 feet above sea level, which undisputedly makes it the highest motorable road in the world. It's a new record, a new benchmark, and we are going to drive there. But just what is it that makes the BRO so special? What's the magic? Let's hear it from the Director General himself. BRO is made special not by the machines or by the techniques what we use in difficult areas. It is the human spirit and the hearts what we connect with, uh, with the local people. Uh, that is the strength of BRO which uh, propels BRO people to make roads and other infrastructure in these difficult and far-flung areas. Well, it's the BRO's hard work that we are going to enjoy and enjoy in fine style. Now, a special road needs a special car to get the most out of it. 
and it doesn't get more special than the monstrous 650 horsepower Urus, which is the most powerful SUV you can buy in India today. So we've left Hanley and whatever tarmac there was is gone. Now we are on to a full dirt track and time to switch to Terra mode. Now this is one of the six modes the Urus comes with and Terra is for dirt tracks like this. You get a slightly raised ground clearance as well. To reach Umlingla from Hanle, you have to first do a bit of cross-country driving for around 30 kilometers. And this initial bit of the drive cuts through a magical countryside that Ladakh is known for. The landscape is barren, stark and without trees. The amazing colors of the jagged mountains and craggy rocks look spectacular. This place has a haunting beauty that sucks your breath away, along with the altitude, of course. There's no road here at all, just multiple dirt tracks which you follow in the general direction. And these roads are rough, so I'm really happy that this Urus we have comes with 22 inch alloys and not 23 inches because with 22 inch alloys you get that slightly taller sidewall which is a good cushion against these jagged stones and really rough roads. And then suddenly after driving on no road at all you hit a perfectly paved road right in the middle of nowhere. And we are on to tarmac. Oh my god, what a difference. Oh, time to switch modes. Strada for normal road use. You know, the road's so good, I'm going to try Sport. Okay. Wow! <laughs> oh my God! Yes, 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 yes! I mean, I can't believe I'm doing this at 15,000 feet plus. I just cannot believe how good this road surface is. Normally, high up in mountain passes, they are broken, they are jagged, there's no road at all, but this one is super smooth, probably smoother than most roads in Mumbai. And I'm still in sport mode. The Urus is nicely hunkered down. It's not feeling stiff at all because this road has no nasty bumps, no sharp edges to really give it a harsh ride. In fact, it feels so pliant on this road. And the other thing is that this 4-litre V8 really sings and it has no breathing problems like I do or a naturally aspirated engine does because this one is force fed by twin turbos and those twin turbos feed those eight cylinders quite nicely. Yes. These ridiculously high altitudes can take its toll on you if you haven't acclimatized. And the key thing here is to stay hydrated and drink as much water as you can. In fact, the biggest danger is the altitude, which can play tricks with your brain. The climb is so gentle that you don't know how far up you are until it finally hits you. 
In fact, the biggest danger is the altitude which can play tricks with your brain. It makes you think you're in some sort of la la land and you actually are because la means pass in local Ladakhi. I don't think I've ever had such a surreal experience up here above 17,000 feet. You feel a bit giddy headed with the lack of oxygen. You've got something like an urus to play with. A fantastic road which cuts through a bleak landscape. In fact, this looks like Mars. You think you're driving on Mars. And just knowing the way border roads builds roads in impossible conditions. Who knows, one day they might build a road on Mars. Building this road was a monumental feat. Workers here have to operate in the most hostile conditions, where even a gentle walk can get you out of breath. Just imagine building a road where temperatures drop to minus 20 below zero. Oxygen is half of what it is at sea level. And even machines and equipment operate with 50% efficiency. Workers suffered from nosebleeds, dizziness, high blood pressure, and were gasping for breath during the construction. Chatting with Brigadier Arvinda Singh Sodhi before the climb just underscored the magnitude of the project. The construction of this road, in my opinion, shows the endurance of human spirit, the never say die attitude of Biaru, who made a landmark at the world stage by constructing this 52 kilometer black topped road at 19,300 feet. And now we can all enjoy the fruits of this hard work. Not just us in the Urus or other tourists ticking off a bucket list item, but the local people for whom this road matters more than anyone else. The Umlingla Road now connects the important towns in the Chumar sector of Eastern Ladakh and makes the commute for locals much, much easier. We keep climbing and climbing. The views get more and more magnificent and the skies get a deeper blue. The Urus is in its element on these narrow roads and seems to shrink the faster you go. The precise steering calls for minimal inputs and it's just so much fun straight lining the squiggly bits of the road. And we have just crossed the Nurbula Pass 17,328 feet, inching closer to the top. Still another 2,000 feet to go. What is amazing at these altitudes is that the road isn't steep at all. In fact, the gradient is quite gentle and there are hardly any hairpins. Now, the road has been deliberately designed this way to make movement of heavy military hardware fast and easy. we've just passed a board which says you are now higher than Everest Base Camp. So that means we are up to 18,200, 300 feet, something like that. And well, this is the Mount Everest of roads. And what is amazing is that the surface is just keeps getting better the higher you go. And the higher you go, the more difficult it was, not for us cocooned in the comfort of our cars, but for those brave men who built the road. Reaching the top of Umlingla was an anti-climax of sorts, simply because of how easy it was to get there.
the hard part of the road was actually building it and to pay homage to those who toiled and risked their lives in the construction the bro invited us for a small but very emotional ceremony to raise the tricolor that now proudly flies higher here than on any piece of tarmac on earth the most challenging part of section between kilometer 20 to 30 which is the top of the road and you are the top of the world because that is the time where the wind factor is very high the chill factor is very high so that is the most challenging portion of the road so here we are at umlingla the highest motorable road in the world at 19300 feet now this mountain pass isn't just some dirt track it's a smooth tarmac road where something like this can actually be enjoyed to the full and urus with 650 horsepower it's been a mind blowing ride to the top but what this pass is is a story of human endurance the way they've built this in this challenging conditions sub zero temperatures biting wind as you can see umlingla it's what every indian should be proud of will we ever see a road higher than umlingla uh, umlingla will not be the last uh, uh, road what we have made at that height if need be we will go higher than umlingla and make a road and feel all indians proud of the records what bro is making